Shabbat has begun. Wiley's on point. He's with me. And we are at the confluence of the Snake River. And to our right, we've got the Troy River, the Legrand, and the Imnaha River as they meet in with the Snake. And uh, I just thank you for joining the adventures with uh, Wiley and me. We left town a few hours ago, got camp set up before the Shabbat started. And now, as the sun has gone down where you are, it is the seventh day, and we are to hold it in esteem as Kadesh, as the seventh day of rest, that we are commanded to give reverence to Yahweh, that is His day. And whether we realize it or not, like gravity, it is a commandment, it is a law. If there is a law, it must have a law giver. And that name has been removed from our vocabularies. Yahweh is the creator. From the time immemorial, from the time of Adam through Seth, because Cain killed Abel and Cain went to the land of Nod. <laughs> That line was destroyed at the time of Noah's flood. We have the time of the giants and the Nephilim. Is that craziness? <coughs> Wiley doesn't think so. Is it so crazy to think that the adversary might have changed everything to put you off the truth of Yahweh and his Messiah, Yahshua, yud Vavhe. vav -Heh. Put the shin in the middle, you have yud he shin vav -Heh. Yahshua, Yahoshua, Yahweh is salvation. And as we come to the seventh day, the day that he has commanded us to take rest and focus in on him and his word and his prophets and his disciples and his people here on earth that proclaim the name Yahweh, Yahshua to their neighbors and walk rightly according to his commandments, for it is our honor. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. This is the week before Passach of 2016, and I thank you for joining me in the, the bottom of Hell's Canyon where I often go to reflect, because he has sent me out into the wilderness to call to repentance, Teshuvah, return, return to the name. Hear, hear, O Yisrael, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahweh Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod, Merhuto Lelam Vaed Shema Israel Yahweh Elohenu Yahweh Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Merhuto Lelam Vaed Gadul Yahweh Unyerama Shemo Yaktab I'm sure these
these folks will be coming down to visit me, see what the commotion is. Shabbat Shalom. How are you? Excellent. Is that a duck call? <laughs> Calling in Shabbat. So we thank you and we're going to have a, an incredible adventure. We got the boat out underneath the Blue Bridge last night, as if you've watched our videos, and things are really happening. The prophecies in the book of Matthew 24, Ezekiel 38, we have Revelation. All of these prophets have spoken about a time, and our common ancestor, our common ancestor, who is Hanuk, was promised. He knew of this end generation, and he asked Yahweh to have a remnant, a seed, a righteous seed. We, we our the Talmudim, we our the disciples of Yahweh, Step up to the plate, people. Obey his commandments. Not just the 10, but all 613 mitzvot. For he kept every single one of them perfectly. If he had had a ham sandwich, he was a liar and a fraud. But he did not. He was not the seed of man. He was not the son of the husband of Miriam, Yosef. No, he was Yahweh, Ben David, Ben Abraham, Ben Yitzhak Yaakov, Ben Adam. And who else is he? He is Seth, the able one who came before his brother Seth, and he has set the line of Seth with redemption. In a time where our temples have become polluted, the scripture states, to repent, Tishuvah, and return to the name, to his commandments, to his Mashiach, his Messiah, Yahshua. Baruch Hashem. Shalom.